Welcome back everyone. iOS 15.0.1 just got another update. So let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 8 Plus. Now this specific update came out to about, I think 500, 600 megabytes on almost all my iPhones that were coming from iOS 15 already. But if you do have a release candidate or if you have a beta version, so if you're coming from either one of those, it is going to be a much bigger update. So keep that in mind. I'm not talking like 600, 700 megabytes. I'm talking like five to six gigabytes if I said that right. So, and that's pretty much that. Now this update didn't bring any cool features. It didn't bring any cool improvements like that. All it did was bring bug fix type of improvements. So a lot of different mechanics on the back end that were messing up with iOS 15. That has now been pretty much fixed, which is great to see. Now, one issue that isn't supported for the A+, but it was you know, having an issue on the iPhone 13s that just came out, was the unlocking capability with the Apple Watches. Apparently, that has now been fixed, which is really cool to see. So I'm really into that. I'm glad Apple put the fix out for that because that was a crazy big fix a lot of people were having issues with. So if you experience that problem, that has now been fixed. There was also a little issue within the settings application. So within settings, and if you go under your iPhone storage under general, you click on iPhone storage, apparently the storage up here wasn't being reported properly. But now that has been fixed. I didn't even know this iPhone was 256 gigs, but that has now been fixed too. So that is another pretty cool improvement. Again, I didn't see anybody even complaining about that, but apparently that has now been fixed. Now there was another Apple Watch bug fix too with I guess audio for meditations or something, but that has now been fixed. And ultimately those are the main things. This was just a bug fix update. So you're not going to go and update to get a faster phone. It may get more smoother. It may get a little bit more like that, but it's not inherently going to be faster or anything like that, not even close. So to answer the question, should you install iOS 15.0.1 on your iPhone 8 Plus? And the answer to this question is a two-part answer. My first answer is no, absolutely not. You should not install iOS 15, not even close yet. I would recommend waiting till 15.1 to actually fully install iOS 15. So if you're coming from iOS 14.8 or 14.7, I would highly recommend installing iOS 15 when it's like iOS 15.1 or something like that, I wouldn't recommend installing it just yet. But if you already have iOS 15 installed on your iPhone 8 Plus, then at that point, I'd probably go for it. You know, I think maybe if you want to go for it, there's no point. I feel like being on a beta RC or the official version of 15 is probably not going to do you good. And you probably and you should probably just install 15.0.1 if you're already on iOS 15. If not, stick with where you are and then update once it's like 15.1 or 15.2 in my opinion. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.